Hey everyone, it is Zero Designs here and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to create a cool looking wire or like a rope in Cinema 4D. So all you need for this is this little plugin from Codeworkers, uh, Reaper X, that's what it's called. Um, you just download it, <laughs> download it and uh, you drop it into your plugins folder or your Cinema 4D. You just type in Cinema 4D, right click it open destination folder I think it is and plugins and just drop the entire um, thing in there as you can see I have it over here already installed um, so for me it, it works a lot like it works good um, and if you have any problems just feel free to send me a message so what we're gonna be creating is this little wire uh, rope I'm sorry and you can make it anything you want um, you make, can make it go around the text and make a really cool text effect something like this over here but then like make it a little render so um, we're gonna be creating something like this but um, let's just get in Cinema 4D and see what we can get so once you're in Cinema 4D you need to have a spline because the rope is going to be around the spline. To show you what you want, um, why you need your spline is just go to plugins and Reaper X, just drop that in. It won't do nothing. Uh, so you gotta make a spline. Let's just make a flower for that for now. And you gotta drop that flower into the Reaper X. So as you can see, we have a little wire, uh, rope. I'm sorry, I keep saying wire. I gotta say rope uh, over here, but. You know, who would want a flower with a rope? That makes no sense at all. You might want to make something cool with it. Could be something cool. But, you know, that's not what we're looking for. We want to make a um, little pole where the rope is going to be around. So let's make a tube. No, let's not make a tube. Um, let's make a cylinder. And make it a bit higher. There we go. So now we can make our spline around it. Uh, what we're gonna do is gonna create a helix and we're gonna cho choose the plane and I think it's um, X set, yes, there we go. So let's uh, make it a bit smaller mm, by changing the end and start radius. So let's see what we get, that's pretty cool already. If you want to do it you can make it the same as this but you know this looks pretty cool already you can make more detailed but this will work for now so let's just make it a bit high a uh, bit bigger and put the height up uh, there we go so now it's not too much curves so we'll just make the end angle a lot more so we get a lot more angles so let's put it a bit up and maybe put the height down a bit. So we just get this little rope thing. So now we got the helix set up, we could put it into the Reaper X. So as you can see, get this cool wire. Let's just make a, let's just make it the same. I think it's 50 by, by 50. So let's see if we could yeah that will work perfectly so there we go um you got something really cool already set up so let's go into the reaper x and see how many options we got we got the basic tab that's not options we got the coordinations that's not options then we got the gen general tab which is actually expressoed so you could like change things that is expresso from my understanding so you can change the amount of coils, um, you want to see what it means, you know, just the amount of um, rings, kind of. Then you can change the radius, we don't want to make it too big. If you make it a bit smaller, that might look like a telephone wire, if you need that. Um, distance, you know, the distance of the things, you might want to create something abstract like this, or something weird. That might look cool, actually. <laughs> but yes, uh, we're not gonna play around too much with that. We're just gonna keep it like so. Uh, segments uh, don't 
don't play around with that. It's just going to make, unless you, your computer is really fast, you can make it up a bit. But, you know, it's going to it's gonna fuck up your computer pretty bad because it is actually um, how many segments, how many subdivisions every single thing has. And if you change it, it's going to make a lot of changes and it's going to be very big. So this thing uh, over here, the little wire is pretty much, you got the end uh, and the start and you can pretty much change the thickness between them. So like if you want it kind of like this, kind of thin at the bottom and let's just make it look like this so it's a bit more clear, clearish. So you got a little thin line at the button and then it thickens out once you go up. So that is pretty much that rotation just for animating purposes, I think. Stretch, that is uh, pretty much making it grow. That's a cool animation that you can use for your project. If it's on zero, you will see one thing, but you could just hide it or you could make this uh, up to zero and then make it stretch out so it goes bigger or you could keyframe the form so like form and then you go to the next frame and you just put it back to normal so then you just get this little that effect and then you start at frame one and start the stretch and make it a hundred on the end and that will make your animation look flawless so you know it's not it's not a big deal but if you're a perfectionist you gotta not have that in the way because if you if you put it like over here uh and you wouldn't have made those keyframes you would see a little donut thing for the old time so let's continue our settings strand ease of palm subdivisions don't 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 fuck around with that that's just gonna fuck up your computer subdivisions is really hard to play around with size uh pretty much the size of the entire entire thing uh rotation of course you can play around with that start growth is growing again but you can also grow from the end as well so it grows down parallel movement i think that doesn't do too much but you know you can see what it does i think yeah it might makes it a bit weirder i don't know if you would want that so let's go to strand caps you could make it fill a cap at the end this, this is just at the end you know just gonna what the fuck just gonna like put a cap at the end to make it a bit cleaner to make the ending a bit cleaner so if you put a lot of steps on that that will look a bit better but you know it wouldn't make much of a difference so let's just wait there we go you can see it's not just uh hard as you can see right now better i think it's all subdivided by the steps so that's 62 steps um so yeah that's what you want pretty much uh for that um then that's that into you could also change it a bit depending on what you want interpolation linear or b spline just keep that on b spline because linear is going to make it not circles but um, like uh, circles without hypernerves I think I think it disables the hypernerves that make it smooth so um, adaptive natural you can play play around with that um, but you know that is pretty much what you want so let's just go back to our basic wire and go back to our make it filled up properly so now uh, something that works for me uh, is the material um, called Fabric Letter Napa Beige. It's a preset from Cinema 4D. You go to Create. Uh, you can make a new material, but you can also load material presets. Then go to Broadcasts, Resources, Materials, Natural, Fabric, and then you there you have them. So. Um, Something that would look good with it um, is um, what is it called? Leather. Uh, leather looks really good um, for like the pull. But you know the wire thing. Um, I just want to change it a bit back. You know, make it a bit more 
um, natural, but um, with the lighting, which you will just use, um, just a little lighting in there. You can make it yourself, but I'm just 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 quick. And you can see already, it's uh, kind of looking like a wire. So let's just go and um, put in a linear skylight quickly. Sky, see my camera, turn that off. This is the grayscale gorilla uh, light kit, by the way. So as you can see, that is gonna look like a nice little wire. Um, and rope, I'm sorry, rope, a uh, nice little rope and uh, you could you could play around with it, you know, you could use it on top of your text. Um, if you want to put it like on your text, you could also so uh, also make a custom, make a, well, one sec, delete the material, make a custom um, path by making, by using B spline. So you could, you could make one over here and let's say you want one over here but then you want it to go around it so then you can just drag it like that and you could add that in um, then you can make your next point and maybe put that at the end depends on what you want it, it, it takes a bit of skill to um, get used to that B-spline um, effector but this was my tutorial for today uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, make sure to leave a comment, a like, a subscription, a subscribing thing. Yeah. Maybe even favorite. That would be lovely. But uh, I'll see you next time.